Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we have a few news and notes. First of all, Jerry Jones is still trying uh, to land the Canelo Triple G fight. This is serious. Because this fight is scheduled to be September 16th. Cowboys will be in Denver that weekend. So the venue will be open. It'll be available for the fight. So let's take a look at this video here real quick at Jerry Jones talking about the possibility of having this fight, all right? Check this out. Stadium in Dallas, Jerry Jones wants a big fight there. The idea of uh, Canelo and Triple G uh, fighting before 100,000 screaming Hispanic Mexican fans is exciting. It's going to be a great fight. I can't see how it won't be. One of the neatest things that happens to me is when we have big fights at AT&T Stadium. It's the biggest fight in boxing history, including the one with Mayweather and Pacquiao. The list of affinity messages and letters that I get back from our Hispanic fan base is endless. And it really makes me feel good. And of course, it would be outstanding for us to uh, have that fight at AT&T Stadium. It's a big money fight. It's what everybody's clamoring for. You're very much should be very much in the hunt because uh, of the, the great interest in boxing in this area, uh, but certainly the proximity to uh, Mexico. We have over 1,500 of our season ticket holders that commute from Monterey, Mexico for the Dallas Cowboys, and so it would be a great uh, venue to have that special fight in. All right. So, I don't know about you, but that would be a badass fight at a badass venue. I will definitely be there. There's no doubt about it. I will go to that fight there, okay? That'll be a hell of a fight. Okay, so what do you guys think? If if the fight's there at AT&T Stadium there in Arlington, are you going to get a ticket and go to this big fight or what? All right, let me know in the comments. The other news here that we have, the bum of bums, Rolando McClain. All right, now check this out right here. So this guy here arrested second degree marijuana possession, also facing a weapons charge. This guy's completely washed up. He had a $2,000 bell. He couldn't get it paid. This guy is flat broke, man. You gotta feel bad for the guy. Top pick here. When he came out as a rookie to the NFL, squandered it away to drugs and the purple syrup and that kind of junk. So what happens, man? Now, these kind of stories need to be told at the rookie symposium so they don't fall into the pits and fall into these kind of things man you just got talent wasted it away all right so that's it on him the other stuff that we have here cowboys rookie minicamp well all the all the rookie draft picks were participants jordan lewis still working on his contract but that did not uh preclude him from you know participating in there so they're getting their first action here. Garrett, uh, coaches, Rod Marinelli, getting their hands on them there. Everything went well from all reports. What we want is for them to come out of this injury free and to get their feet under them, okay? So uh, that's it, guys. Not much else here going on here with the Cowboys news. Uh, we'll see what we come up with here tomorrow, and then we'll be off on Sunday, all right? So that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about today's topics in the comments, and we'll talk about it here over the weekend, all right? Thanks, guys.